If you can do this simple strumming pattern, then by the end of this video, I'll show you how to transform it into James here from goodguitarist.com and today I want to dive deep into the Johnny Cash strumming style. I want to show you step by step how you can take a really simple strumming pattern and add a couple little simple things that'll make it sound like Johnny Cash. And through this process, not only will you be able to strum Johnny Cash tunes authentically, you'll also understand how this whole thing works and be able to apply it to whatever chord shapes, you know, to your own chord progressions, to other songs, whatever it is that you want to do with guitar. And the beauty of it, it's so simple. At the heart of it, it's just this super basic pattern where we alternate between a downstroke and a down up. I'm going to mute the strings with my uh, chord hand here. We, we do a downstroke and then we go down up. And that's it. We just go between those two. Down, down, up down, down, up. And there's a little bit of a trick to it. For the downstroke on beat one, we're just going to do a little downstroke that aims at the thicker strings. So down, down, up, little downstroke, then down, up, little, down, up. We call that root, root, down, up. And then for that down, up, we can really put some emphasis on it. You know, one, Two, like on beat two, that's where the down up is. One, two, one, two. And when you speed that up, it creates this kind of boom chuck feeling. Boom, chucka, boom, chucka, boom. I'm saying boom, chucka. You can say whatever you want, but you know, that to me is like the, the authentic language for this, right? Boom, chucka, boom, chucka, boom, chucka. And the chuck is really big, and that boom is really small. Boom. Chaka, boom, chaka. If you're having trouble uh, feeling it, try to say it, you know. Uh, you can't overlook this step, you know. Being able to play it that way where you have that little downstroke and then you have that big down up. Boom, chaka, boom. And just feeling that rhythm, it's going to make the biggest difference. And if you need extra help doing that, you know, developing your sense of rhythm and using dynamics like we do in this pattern and, you know, getting all the fundamentals down, my beginner course is designed to help you get there. I'll put a link in the corner for that. Either way, that's the first layer. Just boom, chaka, boom. That simple pattern with that dynamic feeling. You can even like lean your body into that chuck. You know, and a little tip here is for the down up, you can really flick your wrist. You know, I'll just do it slowly here. Boom, chaka. You know, for the chuck, I'm like flicking my wrist out. That helps a lot. And something that you can do, like even when you're not playing guitar, like I would just do this if I was like driving, I'll, I'll literally just put my hand on my shirt. I don't know if you can hear that. It creates that kind of that country sound. Root, down up, root, down up. You know, and I just, I just practice it on my shirt. It kind of sounds like the snare drum, which is, uh, you know, it, it makes you a rhythmic person. Even though you're not playing guitar, you're still working on rhythm. Anyways, moving on, we, need to add, you know, a chord and some notes to it, right? And I'm going to do this on an E chord because that's where false, uh, where like Walk the Line, Folsom Prison Blues, both those songs start on that chord. And for my first downstroke for that root, I'm going to get just the thicker string. That's the root of the entire chord, the root of the E chord. And then I do my chuck the same as before. So root, chucka, root. And this is the second layer, you know, we're just adding some notes, that root, chaka, root, chaka. And we just do that over and over again. You know, you do this till you're comfortable. And you could even stop there and just play like that. That's going to like pretty much capture the feel. But let's, you know, let's add another layer to it. I want to change something on beat three. Uh, as we're doing it right now, root on beat one and then chaka on beat two then root on beat three and chaka on beat four. Well, let's take beat three and instead of hitting the root, let's hit the A string. So we're gonna go. And that's still like a bass note, but it's not the root. So let's call that the alternate bass note or alt. And we end up going root, which is on the thickest string, chaka, and then alt, 
on the A string. Chaka, root, chaka, alt, chaka, root, chaka, alt. And aiming really specifically can kind of kill the feeling of it, you know? So don't let that happen. If, if you're not hitting the exact notes, don't worry about it. It's more important to have that, you know, to have that feeling going. That's gonna do more than anything. But these extra layers that we're adding do, you know, help you get closer to the actual style, right? And there are things that you're gonna work on over time and eventually you'll be able to do them no problem. At the end of the day, all you really have to understand is that for every chord shape you play, there's gonna be the actual root of the chord on beat one, and then there's gonna be some other bass note on beat three. And that's gonna be on like the A string or the D string, you know? So root, chaka, alt, chaka. And something that I'd like you to try uh, is to go between just the bass notes, like without the chaka part, you just go. You know, that's literally what Johnny Cash's bass player would play or like any country or folk musician really. And you know, as a guitarist who can play bass like decently, I can tell you that this is one of the most important styles. This plus like a couple walking bass lines and you're covered for a pretty wide variety of music. We have the basic, the gist of it. You know, we have the pattern, we have the dynamics, and we have the root chukka, alt chukka, you know, that like folk strumming style. The one other thing that we can do to kind of, you know, give it a little authenticity is to shorten the chord shot. So when we do the chukka, going and just letting go of the chord, I'm just letting go of the chord shape, you know, and that kind of adds some chop to it. And now that we have our pattern pretty good on the E chord, the next step is to come up with a chord progression and figure out where all the roots and alts are for those other shapes. And it's pretty standardized for the most part. You know, I'm just gonna pick like a straight up Johnny Cash style progression like you'd find in Walk the Line or Folsom Prison. You know, they all use the same three chords, E, A, and B7. We already did the E chord. For the A chord, the root is on the A string. So, you know, root, chaka, and then alt is gonna be the low E string, alt, chaka. So it's like the opposite of the E chord, root, chaka, alt. And when I was first learning this, that really confused my fingers. So I recommend taking it back a step, being a bass player for a minute. You know, you make your E chord and you just go root, alt, root, alt, and then you make the A chord root, alt, root, alt, E chord, E chord, A chord, A chord. You know, and that's a great way to, to learn those roots and alts and really like have it in your muscle memory. And then we can do that with a B7 chord. And for B7, it's just like the A string. The root is on the A string. And then the alt is on the low E, but we have to move our middle finger down there to the second fret of the low E to get the actual note from B7, you know, so alt. So your pick and your finger, they kind of just follow each other. Root, they both go to the thicker string. Let's get back to our progression here. Um, I recommend literally writing these down. E, A, E, B7. And you just do that four chord cycle over and over again. And you practice it going through all the steps in this lesson. You know, first you go boom chuck on it, not worrying about any of the notes, just chuck -a boom, chuck -a boom, maybe shortening those. And then you can add those bass notes or even just do the bass notes by themselves. A chord, A chord, E chord, E chord, B7, B7. You know, just practice the bass line and then put it all together. And you can apply this style to 
any chord shapes. You know, when it comes to figuring out the roots and alts, I have that in my free ebook. There's a link to that in the corner. So you can check that out if you want like a chart that just shows you everything. And if you enjoy learning guitar with me, please take a moment to like and subscribe, hit the bell icon. It helps with YouTube, you know, delivering my lessons to you and all the others who want to learn guitar with me. And um, yeah, don't forget to check out my beginner course if you want like the guided path through it all. Have a fun time practicing and I'll see you soon.